Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Hornsby, your online myofunctional therapist, and in this video I want to talk about early childhood and oral development. So our first experience is using our mouth as we are babies or when we are babies really stays with us for life. So if you're a baby who is bottle fed, you use less muscles than if you're a baby who is breastfed. And I know this can be kind of a controversial topic. From my perspective as a myofunctional therapist, I'm really just looking at the muscles. So I'm not going into that whole argument about nutrition of formula versus breast milk. For me, I know that babies who breastfeed are working harder, they're using more muscles, they're coordinating their suction, and they're learning how to swallow by breastfeeding. And babies who are bottle fed are often not working as hard and they're not using so many muscles. So when I see people during an exam, one of the things that I ask about is whether or not an adult or child knows if they were bottle fed or breastfed. I know that babies who were bottle fed are more likely to have myofunctional issues. Now another thing that I ask about is what happened with the birth? What happened with your birth? A lot of adults may not know the answers to this question, but if I'm working with moms of kids, they often know the answers. So um, the, the things that I'm wondering about are, were you born premature? Um, did you have a difficult birth, like a really long labor? Did you have uh, an emergency C-section? Um, all of these things can tell me about your oral development because a traumatic birth makes you more likely to have a lot more issues with the way that your head and skull has formed and the way that you're able to feed. So the other part of this, there's two more parts. If babies are tongue-tied and they can't breastfeed, often they're really colicky, they might have digestive issues, they might have reflux, they might have a lot of feeding issues, and if the mom doesn't know that the baby is tongue-tied, then this might get discovered either while they are feeding or they might, it might get missed completely. So when I ask about people's history, I really want to know what's the story behind what I see today, and that can give me a lot of clues to um, what's going on with that person as an older child or an adult. The final thing that I like to talk about with early childhood development is ear infections. So kids who had a lot of ear infections often have swallowing issues and they often have myofunctional issues. So um, we should all hear a little tiny click in our ears. So if you listen, if you swallow, you should hear a little click in your ear each time you swallow. And that is your eustachian tube draining fluid. So in little babies and younger kids, a lot of times they can't get this mechanism to kick in where you swallow and the eustachian tube releases a bit of fluid. If they can't get that to happen, I know there's a swallowing issue and I know that they're more likely to need myofunctional therapy later in life if people had a lot of ear infections when they were either infants or kids or maybe all throughout childhood and even into adulthood. So anyways, I hope that this information about early childhood and oral development makes sense. I hope I was able to answer some of your questions and I will talk to you guys more about myofunctional therapy in future videos.